These are scenes refugees and migrants had hoped to avoid in their home countries. But these pictures are not from their war-torn or economically devastated locales. This is in France. Known as the jungle, this migrant camp in Calais had housed thousands of asylum seekers. Now it's mostly charred remains of what used to be a tent city. For decades, many migrants sought refuge in the jungle. But the fighting in Syria eventually led many to flee to Calais and eventually led to the camp's explosive growth. This year, France decided to shut down the camp. An incredible human experience has taken place within this camp with all its different communities. But we are turning the page now, and it is a positive page because these people are going to be welcomed in France and are going to be able to start a new life. But in what French authorities called a tradition, many of the jungle's residents set fire to their old homes. While some welcomed the closing of the camp, the way it was cleared brought up some painful memories for others. I don't like this, you know, see my, like this come my head, my city like this every time. It's probably Taliban, you know, Taliban is police fight every time. Like my city, I see like this. Almost all of the jungle's former occupants have been or are in the process of being relocated. Some have been moved to some small towns in France. While the migrants are relieved to have left the jungle behind, some are wary of them. I'm not reassured because my house is near the holiday resort where the migrants will be housed and where I go past on my morning walks. And I don't know if I'll be able to continue this in the future because I don't feel safe. Most migrants, however, are not looking to stay in France. Most want to head to the UK. For one, the country has a better social safety net. Migrants also want to learn English since they believe it will be easier to find work. Others want to be reunited with family who are in the UK. But there are now concerns the closure of the jungle will expose the camp's most vulnerable residents to exploitation, unaccompanied children. Now some British activists are urging the government to take in more of the young migrants. It's quite clear that what should have happened is that the children should have been made safe first to avoid traffickers moving in and getting them like they did the last time. But those sentiments may change, especially if hundreds of thousands of migrants continue to flee the violence in their countries and flood into an already tense Europe. Ahmad Khu, CCTV.